Let's do it. This is how you watch the Hey, this is how you watch the Hey, keeping the faith in the king, and the patience will give us a strength. shall be on earth. Right now, you are in slavery. You are in a poverty state. If you want to remain in this condition, you want to remain at the bottom, we got to chill at bus stops. We chilling at the corners. We, we chilling at gas stations. We chilling everywhere but the kingdom of heaven. I want the kingdom of heaven for my people, for my sisters, for my brothers. I want better for y'all. I want better for me. I'm tired of this. We go to Scottsdale. We see all these clean neighborhoods. We don't see all of this violence and all that. But we go to our neighborhoods and we see the worst things happening. We see, we see missing person signs because our sisters getting sold and sex trafficking. We see our sisters getting pimped out by brothers, getting gorilla pimped and all of that stuff. We see our brothers selling drugs. We don't like these things, but uh, but we y'all take it as we just yelling at y'all. But in reality, we come from the same, we from the hood. We from the same place as y'all. We had to change. We had to look in the Bible and change our ways. Right. Know ye not the, that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Hey, brother, we talked to you before. What's your, what's your tribe? What's your tribe? Judah. Judah? What's your nationality? Yeah. yeah. You're Israelite. What? Are you keeping the Sabbath? Uh, I'm trying, but you know, uh, you know, sometimes you can't work. I mean, sometimes you gotta work for the Sabbath. Sometimes you gotta work. Is it a sin? Oh, uh, yeah. Would you say? It? Yeah. Is it sin? Okay. So why why are we in slavery today? Because it's sin, right? So is it that hard to actually get the, the Sabbath day off? Uh, I did. Act, it was, it was so come here, come talk to me, bro. So wait, what, 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 what steps are you taking? Huh? What steps are you taking? You said you asked. That's a good. That's a good thing. Yeah. You're taking steps. You ask. What else are you doing? Um. Now really, I mean, I'm doing the best I can. I'm living. Here. Okay, okay. So, the next step, brother, is to start applying for other jobs. Yeah. Right? It's jobs that'll let you keep this out of it. Yeah. You apply for those jobs, you get a call back, go to those interviews. You get the Sabbath off, take that job. Because you know why? Because you know why? Because you know why? Because you know why? Because you need to be around brothers that are keeping God's laws to keep you strong. He giving you that little tip right there. It's something that you probably didn't think of, right? Like, damn, I could just apply for another job. No, no, I didn't think of that. Okay. You know what? I've been applying for jobs and stuff like that. You've been applying for jobs? Yeah. You know how that goes, though. Still wait. Okay, you you, you, call, you take an initiative, you call it back, you saying communicate, uh, you communicating? Yeah. And the Bible is big on communication. You got that? Yeah, it's, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, 2717. I ain't sure to Stay right here, bro. What's your name again? Ladarius. Ladarius? I got you, I'm Isaac. I'm not going to introduce myself, bro. Got that? Ooh. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 27 and verse 17. Iron sharpened iron. Iron sharpened of iron, right? So imagine two swords, right? You ever seen uh, people like they uh, weld and stuff like that? How they sharpen stuff up? Iron is like, a, or even a chef, they use two knives to sharpen each other, right? Can you sharpen, can, do you ever see the knife to sharpen itself? Yeah. You see the knife sharpen itself? No, no, no. Nah, because iron sharpening iron, right? So that means you need someone like you, you need a like-minded person to help sharpen you up. Somebody who's already experienced the things that, you go, that you're going through. Come a little closer, bro. Oh, I gotta work, no, I ain't gonna have to. I mean, you got a bit of two. The first round, I ain't got a bit Look, there it is. Hey, give me Proverbs 16 and 7 real quick. Because you got to understand this, Ladarius. Real quick, real quick, Ladarius. You got to understand this. Just, hey, 30 seconds. Watch this. You got to understand that when your ways please the Lord, that's what the Lord will start doing for you. Because as you, as he was talking about the Sabbath, I noticed some different things about you. Because it says a man may be known by his look. Does it, the, the, when you're working on the Sabbath, right, because you can't get the Sabbath off, does that stop you from putting fringes on? Does that stop you from wearing fringes? Can you put on fringes? Yes, you can. Do you have fringes on right now? 
right, so that's that's the thing. The Lord not gonna look out for you unless you start applying other commandments. That's Watch right. this. Watch this. Yes. This is the Proverbs hey. chapter sixteen and verse seven. When a man's ways please the Lord. Yeah. When a, what's what, what's pleasing to the Lord? Oh, um, his uh, his commands and statutes. You do what he say, yeah. right? Keep his commandments. It says, when a way, when a man's ways please the Lord, <laughs> when a man's ways please the war, Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. You see that? He maketh even his enemies to be because we have to work for our enemies, correct? So guess what? When you decide to go, when you pray to the Lord, right? Give me uh, John nine and thirty one. When you pray to the Lord. And, and and you you send your sincere prayer up, guess what? If your ways are pleasing to the Lord, he might answer that prayer and say, yo, I'm going to get his brother the day off. I'm going I'm to make his enemies to be at peace with him. Right. You understand that? But if you're not, if you're not putting other, other uh, uh, avenues forward to please the Lord, why would the Lord do something for you? Watch this, John 9 and 31. Come on. This is the book of John chapter 9 verse 31. Now we know that God heareth not sin sinners. God heareth not what? God heareth not sinners. You hear that? Is this what we say? This is what the Bible says. Right. That's what the Bible says, bro. You hear that? Yeah. Hey, you got the fly, bro. I know you got to go, okay. but you know what you got to do. When, when you walk by here, we should see fringes. Come down to the school. You can keep other feast days with us. Yeah. Right? And when you do have the day off, you can keep the Sabbath. But you got to please the Lord first for him to actually come to you and do something, right? Yeah. But we're looking for us to do something. You can't just wait for it to appear in your lap. It ain't going to happen. Right? You understand that, Ladarius? All right, brother. We used to scream black power. While Heron was pushed But at the end of the day Nothing's in vain IUIC Has been given a vision The tents of Judah has risen Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof, IUIC, we deliver the truth